love you. And I want to spend the rest of my days making you a happy woman. So what do you say? No. No. Yes. Yes. Mother, what are you doing? David and I are engaged. Isn't it wonderful? No, it's not wonderful. It's insane. Come with us. Why don't we go talk somewhere? No, I'm not going anywhere except maybe somewhere to celebrate with my fiancé. Oh, my God. Mom, he's manipulating you. How can you not see that? How can you do this to Jack? What's wrong with you? Why can't you just be happy for me? For us. Okay, you know what? You better do the talking because I'm going to kill someone right now. Okay, Mom... You're not thinking straight. You do not want to marry David. Yes, I do. I, of course I do. We're perfect for each other. Well, that's what he wants you to believe and, and alienate you from your friends and family and the man you belong with. The man I belong with is right here. Now, if you can't accept it... We will never accept it. You're making a huge mistake. I'm very sorry you feel that way. They'll get over it. Uh, should we set a date? Should, should I get my calendar? Uh, you know, maybe we need to hold off until your family's on board. Well, you'll be waiting for a cold day in hell, trust me. This is, this is part of something bigger, David. I know it is. Now, what do you really want? Everything I desire is already in my possession. I don't believe you for a second. No way. You will, in time. I'm going to prove it to you and everyone else in this town. You just wait and see. Well, I'm done waiting, okay, you son of a bitch. Oh, I'm that's done. That's enough. I love David. I don't want to have to choose between you, but I will. You know, sweetheart, I think we need to cut your family some slack. You know? Give them some time to let this sink in. So why don't we go back to my hotel room and we can celebrate our engagement? There's nothing I'd like better. Great. Excuse us. <laughs> We need to stop this. I don't know if we can. Hi. Wow, what are those for? Well, I thought you might like them. Well, they're, they're beautiful. Thank you. Maybe if I was feeling crappy or really crappy, they would make me feel better. But I am i don't think flowers are going to help this. Thank you, though. Is this about what happened in the park? Kendall, I told you I understood why you brought up Zach. No, no, it's not about that. And what's wrong? Well, it's ugly and scary and seriously horrible. Well, I think I can handle it. Do you want to? Why don't you let me decide that for myself? What is so ugly and scary and horrible? Relationships. I cannot believe that David, David, asked your mother to marry him. Yeah, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it either. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're telling me. No, 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 no. I just, I just talked to Dr. H, and he gave me this whole lecture about how important it is to stay focused on our work. No distractions, no personal involvement with anybody. Yeah, but he's not personally involved. He doesn't care about my mother. He's using her to, to get whatever it is he really wants. I've been saying what I said I'd do. I've been keeping my eyes open around Dr. H. But you should have seen the way she was talking about him. It was like the only thing that she cared about was, was David. It, a, it was a nightmare. A proposal takes us to a whole other level. Yeah, well, I, I want to find out the truth. I want you know, to, the, the truth about why he's really doing this. I'm going to see what I can find out. No, no, Griff, you don't have to do that. For you, I'm going to make the exception. You appreciate so much that you care, but I, I don't want you fighting another battle with David. I... I already am. You're worried about your mother? Let me see what I can do to protect her. Okay. Thank you for the flowers. Thank you, thank you. Anytime. Deal. I heard you're engaged to Erica Keenan, and I want to hear all about it face to face. And don't even try playing me. I want the truth. You owe me. 